traffic pilot. Let's enjoy a rich good wind in the big special. Engine. 
Now that really does take some thinking about. You've got a biplane with a propeller and two jet engines. That is going to be something to see. And also to hear, the performance will be absolutely something, as if this is good enough already. And Rich is uh, now supported with the new sponsorship for 2022 by the Sabio Group, who are very interested in STEM, science, technology, education, and maths. So they make a good partner for Rich. aerobatic figures, albeit uh, performed with that extra degree of dynamism, courtesy of the highly modified design, with high-energy gyroscopic type maneuvers, where the aircraft literally seems to gyroscope itself around the sky. You can see he has gained height here, this in part to just cool the engine a little in the midst of this display, which makes pretty high demands on the power plant. And so here he is, diving in from our left with multiple rolls on the downline, building up speed, building up energy, as he runs down the A-axis, ready to pull up, And this is what he calls his tower of power, a vertical ascent of multiple rolls on the way up, the speed gradually leading off. And there the aircraft nearly hanging on the propeller as it falls back down through its own smoke. A very, very long way down through its own smoke. Just thinking ahead when the jet version of this comes out, total power available is going to be around about 1,700 pounds, <laughs> but the aircraft only weighs about 1,500, so that's power of power. It will just keep going. Yes. It will just, gravity will not win. Rich comes from a flying family indeed, because his late father, Ken Goodwin, was renowned in the day as one of the RAF's finest exponents of Hunter and Lightning aerobatics in the service. Once again showing us that absolutely penetrating vertical capability of this aeroplane, such as its power to weight ratio. A couple of turns of a spin on the way down. Recovery. Yes. So uh, I think Rich is just a genius at those snap recoveries. You think the aircraft's out of control and then he just brings it to heel. Of course this is all a very, very well practiced routine over many seasons. But he took up aerobatics, he sought the advice of members of the British Aerobatics Association. He competed in competition aerobatics for a number of seasons. That in itself a very different discipline to the air display world, requiring the performance of the seasons within a very tight set of laid down parameters. It was all a very good training ground for his entry into the air show circuit. In now from the right, and now a very good opportunity to see the colour scheme on this new muscle biplane as he comes past once again on the knife edge showing you the Sapio logos on the upper surfaces. Rich Goodwin! Done because there you can see him pulling to a high alpha, a high angle of attack, 
and once again he is trying his best to come to a hover. That is either a helicopter or a kite, I'm not sure. And that completes another quite brilliant sequence. Coming in to land once again from left to right. You can see his other aircraft, his previous muscle by plane in its red colour scheme with uh, large swathes of Union Jack incorporated into the livery down towards the uh, left-hand end of the showground as you look out towards the runway.